Happy Monday, y'all. Oh, hey. hey, got some donuts. Oh, oh, nice. Thank you, Grant. Anytime. Hey, so did you guys catch that Georgia game? Ooh, that pick six was insane. Did you see that? Please, Georgia Vandy was over by halftime. LSU Mississippi State, though, about gave me a full heart attack. Oh, it actually gave me a heart attack. I had to go to the hospital. Did you watch Maya? Of course! What did you think about Bote's hurdle near the end of the game? It was good. He's a very talented quarterback. He's not a quarterback, he's the wide receiver. Either way, Mississippi's lucky to have that guy. Um, he plays for LSU. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Nothing! I'm good! It's your girl Maya! I'm all good! I'm a football fanatic. Touchdown. Tied. I'm... <laughs> did you even watch the games? I can't do this anymore. I don't watch football. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm serious. I don't like football. What? And I'm tired of pretending that I understand what a safety is or how targeting works. To be fair, no one knows how targeting works. But you live in the South. Weren't you born and raised here? I was, but I was never really good at sports. I did theater. You've seen a game at my house. Well, I'm not gonna turn down free chicken wings. <gasps> so the other day when I asked you to watch the game and you were like, what sport? You weren't joking. Sometimes I can't keep up with what sports season we're in. Like, doesn't hockey start in the fall too? Wow, it is worse than we thought. Do your parents know? Wait, if you don't watch football on Saturdays, then what do you do? Oh. Let me tell you, football Saturday is a great day for running errands. There's no traffic, and you can actually find people to help you at Home Depot. You work on a holy day. No, I mean, sometimes I go for a hike. That sounds like work. It's mostly flat surfaces around here. So you're telling me that you would rather walk through the woods than sit down and enjoy God's greatest gift to humanity. Young men strapping on helmets and pads, colliding into each other repeatedly in a stadium full of people just screaming their heads off. See? It sounds like they've got plenty of fans. It's not like they need me. I'm pretty sure not liking football is against company policy, so I'm sorry, but I'm ethically obligated to report you to HR. Wait, hold on. Maybe we can work through this. Have you ever thought about getting help or something? Maybe counseling? You think I should pay someone to help me figure out how to care about a team I'm not even on? It's covered by the company. Just so you know, my cousin's dog walker's son is on the LSU roster, so I might as well be on the team. This is highly offensive. And maybe you just haven't found the right team yet. No, it's not the team. I just don't like football. This is who I am. Wait, no. You're right. I think we should commend Maya. That took a lot of courage. We should all strive to be more inclusive of our less football-inclined coworkers. We should let her know that we fully support her. It was very brave. I'm sorry I overreacted. I was just in shock, you know. I'm proud of you for living your truth. Thanks, y'all. I really appreciate it. We don't have to talk about football in the office. Yeah. Have you tried that new coffee shop down the street? Oh, I don't really drink coffee. Okay. Y'all can talk about football. <sighs> that pass was insane. Throwing mechanics are absolutely spot on. Totally. Maybe the greatest quarterback I've ever seen.